hello everyone so welcome back to my channel and uh, in azure beginners to professional series uh, today i'm going to talk about the site recovery scenarios if you have not watched that this series or you are just watching it from this video you can take a link from the description box for this entire series and you can watch it out it has a complete azure detail from the uh, starting beginning connections connectivity vms creation as well as uh, uh, site to uh, site connections point to site connections and then azure backup also so now today i'm going to talk about uh, the site recovery scenarios so what exactly the site recovery is site recovery is a disaster recovery or a business continuity service that provides the two type of basic functionality the first one is the replication another one is orchestration so the replication is something when you are synchronizing a content of uh, one disk or OS uh, between two VMs, between two sites, between two servers or two locations. And if we refer to the orchestration, then it provides a failover or, a, or a failback between two locations. It's an automated configuration. If we talk about like uh, what exactly the orchestration, the orchestration is an automated configuration and the coordination of your systems application and services if we say in a single line so more, mainly in the if we talk about the azure uh, site recovery or asr so it's basically uh, depends on the three scenarios the first one is failover and the failback between two on premises sites if we talk about uh, primary and the secondary sites then failure and the failback between on-premises site and Azure region, like you are failing your um, virtual machines to Azure region. And the third scenario is failure and failback between two Azure regions. It's a rarely required because Microsoft itself providing a high availability. But if still you want and you have in some critical application and you want to consider that scenario, you can also use it. So these are the scenarios that uh, can be used here. Uh, if we talk about Linux and Windows Server, so some uh, instances you are running on the on-premises, uh, then or if you are running in any other service providers such as AWS, or if you are running on the VMware, so such kind of some functionalities are there. But uh, I will let you know how and how we can use that later on or what are the supported platforms that uh, supported by Microsoft Azure, how we can replicate it and how we can use that. So let me just quickly show you this. Okay, so this is the scenario where we can see the orchestration is available, orchestration, replication, failure and failback is available if you are running in a Hyper-V hosted VMs. This is the scenario where we have uh, Azure storage virtual machines and the network replication that is uh, between two azure sites the right side one so this is the overview or a structured scenario of azure uh, site recovery if we talk about more in the site recovery capabilities so storage or the application level replication you can configure it the entire vm could be as also replicated you can decide a plan or a failure and the failback unplanned failovers and the failbacks are also supported you can do a live testing like uh, if you want to test it out the scenario like events you have configured this so that is also possible and the supported workloads if we talk about that is adds and the dns is and the sql uh, system center operation manager sharepoint app exchange so these are exist as an instance level also uh, we can take a recovery plan and we have to decide it uh, how it will go for the failover and the failback and what would be your RTO, etc. So, okay, so this is the scenario number one which we are talking about Hyper V2 Azure. The first one scenario the ports that required must be 443. It's going and this is the DR orchestration and this is the replication network could be same or could be different it's up to you but uh, always that's recommended to keep a replication network as an independent one uh, just from your normal uh, connectivity network to make it uh, avoid any conflicts in the network traffic or utilization of its network going high etc 
So here we have an Hyper V2 Azure scenario and this is the primary site which is hosted in your on-premises. It's running a recovery service agent and virtual machines are running here. So we can replicate it to Azure. Once you replicate it to there and whenever the failover required, you can initiate a failover then your suppose your on-premises data center went down or your on-premises data center got any physical damage etc or any physical disaster in those scenarios you can able to recover it your vms through microsoft azure only the another scenario it's also based on the same one that is uh, we have an here in this scenario we have a simple hyper v which is hosted and if we have an scvmm that is virtual machine manager and you are managing your on-premises uh, vms with the help of scvmm so in the virtual machine manager you have an additional layer of management at your on-premises so you can integrate your vmm environment with your azure site recovery it's basically handling the your dr orchestration structure vms are still replicated independently like this uh, to azure site recovery you have to deploy the recovery service agent and that will help you in deployment of uh, azure site uh, recovery option through on premises to uh, cloud so these are the two scenarios and the third one is vmware or any other physical services that you have at your on premises so you can also configure this but uh, it has uh, some limited uh, limitations this one is little bit tricky or you can say a little bit complicated as compared to normal azure or hyper v or a vmm based environment in this the components are uh, bifurcated or divided in two parts one is the azure components where you have like azure vaults and storage accounts etc where you will store all the information and uh, obviously the network connectivity and the second part comes in the on-premises component the on-premises component if we talk about that includes your centralized management suppose we center etc your mobility service that is running on your all the vms or the physical servers that you want to replicate it to cloud and the third part if we talk about uh, that is the configuration management here so if we talk in summarized way so that it's a configuration management server or that used uh, to manage the centralized management of your on-premises data the processing server and the mobility services and master target server that used basically to connect with azure take the data from there and send it data to there so this can be also achievable and configurable not peoples are not using much uh, if they have a uh, vmware sector at their own premises they are not mostly syncing it with azure and vm syncing is uh, also not much popular uh, reason behind is that it required a num high usage of uh, your bandwidth utilization and like you have a big data size of vms and if you are replicating the entire vm to cloud and taking it back so that is not much popular but still if you want you can configure it the most popular scenario is uh, azure uh, site to site wherever the azure one site is uh, one region to another region people configure the asr if they require uh, normally in the basics uh, plans or scenarios people are not using this also reason is that uh, microsoft provide mostly 99.99 percent of high availability at a single data center itself also okay guys so uh, let's uh, end it here and i will be continue this asr topic uh, in the next uh, video also and later on i will show you how we can practically implement it so keep watching this channel and the next video link is also there in the description box so you can take it from there as well as the entire azure beginners to professional series link is also mentioned in the description box so you can watch that series thank you so much I will be connected in the next video.